Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to our channel. Happy holidays, folks. So I'm today, driving again. Yeah, today, well, our hunt continues. We are now going to the Irwin Hymer Centre in Stafford. We've never been there before. We thought we'd take a look at a different kind, different kinds of motorhomes um, to help us make up our mind. Yeah, but uh, I think uh, we made our mind up about the new tag, don't we? I think so. Yeah. But while we're waiting, we are going somewhere else uh, next week to see, to have a look round. But you've got to explore all your options, haven't you? So let's go and have a look and see what the Irwin Hymer Centre's got to offer. Yeah, can I just say, uh, changing the subject a bit, <laughs> as, as, as we do, a bit random. Uh, a massive thank you to you all for coming to our meetup. It's sold out with under 24 hours. Yes, absolutely phenomenal. Amazing response, so we can just want to thank you all for that. Yeah, there is a reserve list, which is quite a few of you on there. So if anybody cancels or whatever, we will email you straight away and offer you the place and we're going in order of who's uh, gone onto the reserve list. First. First. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Did you? In order. You're yeah. looking very pretty, are you? Shut up, Rubbish. I'm dead excited, people! Go to look at Oimers! You can't whack it! Let's get it going! Go on! Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> so we are here. We thought we'd gone to the wrong place because there's a barrier here. But apparently, if you drive to the barrier, it'll see us on a camera and the barrier will open. So let's see if that works. Let me in! Well, there's a camera there on the post. And the barrier's not opening. No, okay, plan B. No, so I was just about to have a walk around and see, but yeah, the barrier's opened and we're coming in. And here is Irwin Hyamasant Centre. Wow. Well, let's get in there and buy one. They have got some... Have they got 150 quid? Beautiful vans. And I've actually seen one on the website for £308,000. Bit beyond our price range, I think, but we'll have a look. So, yeah, let's go and have a look around. They've got loads. They've got every Where do we model. Park? I don't know, customer there. Anyway. Well, we've got in, we've had to sign in. <laughs> we've had to put all our details into the computer before they let you in. It's they say it's for um health and safety. Yeah. Yeah. We're it, actually in the showroom at the moment, but they're playing music, so we've had to sneak inside a van. We're inside a Deathless Globe Trotter. Yeah, it's, Heimer. Yeah. It's £193,000, but it's absolutely beautiful. Look at the door, it's yeah. curved. So oh, we'll quickly show you around because of the music and then we'll we'll have to get outside. Nice show. Man, that's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, look. You happy with it? <laughs> Lovely bedroom. Open the door, my hang on, what's in there? That's the toilet. Yeah, toilet, sink, love the uh, marble effect. Man, it's awesome, isn't it? Beautiful, everything's curved, which is lovely. A bit like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But there's no cooker. What? Oh, there's one up there again. There's, there's one, one up there, there again, yeah. Massive fridge. Freezer, but to be honest, for 193 grand, you'd expect it, wouldn't you? <laughs> you would. Beautiful seats. TV there. It is stunning. Lovely. And it is leather. It's not vegan. You know, you can smell it. You know, I could actually smell leather when I came in. You can't. You can't smell leather, obviously, on the uh, fake. Plastic vegan crappy ones. Yeah. Love the beautiful cab auto box. Absolutely stunning. But it should be for one hundred and ninety-three thousand pound. What's the outside of it? Here's the price. Yeah. 
absolutely stunning van. Come on, give it, give it. Nice, eh? Come on, let's crack on. talking about before, £328,070 and it's a Niesman and bis Biscochoff flare. That's a lot of money. Let's go and have a look. I'll show you quickly from the outside because they're playing music. So let's get in there. Hang on, has the music stop? No, it's all good. <coughs> well. For £330,000? I oh know, but wow. What do you Would you pay 330 what? It's got 328000 pounds £328, for a van? It is very nice. I'm not sure I would, to be honest, if I had the money. Storage under there, beds. Cupboard area. TV up there, toilet, full size radiator there. That's nice. Yeah, but where's the door? The door? I don't know where it is. No, that's to the. Oh, I don't. Know. So if, like, if you're somebody sitting there having a <laughs> something to eat and you're on the loo. No, that's it. You're like. That's the shower. Oh, is that the shower? Yeah. I mean, I love the integrated. Yeah. That's your wardrobe space. There's lots and lots of wardrobe space. Yeah. And you've got a beautiful integrated fridge freezer, which is beautiful, which you can see. But that's your shower. There's going to be. Oh, it's, it's on a runner here, somewhere. Okay, don't break nothing. No, I'm... <laughs> yeah. Have a look at the fridge when you come back this way. How the other half live, eh, people? Yeah. There's a the fridge. There's your control nice. centre. Yeah, that's nice and it's all put away tidily. And you What's can in there? Oh, it's just handrail. The handrail, yeah. yeah. Like a carpeted, hard carpeted effect. Massive windows. Oh, it's got a drop-down bed as well. And a drop-down mm. bed. It's it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Yes. But if we had three hundred and thirty thousand pound to yeah. spend, would we spend on this? Probably not. Probably not. If you're a multi-millionaire, it's not. Oh, it don't matter, does it? Like two or three of them. But, just got to work it. But you know, the normal average working person. Yeah. yeah. That is a hell of a lot of money. That is a house. It's it's a big house. It's a good house. Yeah, nice van there. Stunning. Yeah, it is. It's all right. <laughs> I just want to know where you, you shut the, that off. There's got to be something, but I don't want to break it. So, lovely lighting in the ceiling. And it's left-hand drive. Yeah. Oh yes, left-hand drive. There's a cab. Beautiful cab. Uvico, Auto. Yeah, it's got the works in it, as you can imagine. What's this? Is this storage? Yeah, yeah, that's storage. Hang on. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. Well, that's a good idea, isn't it? I don't know where it goes. Cause my... It's bloody warm in here anyway, I know that. Let's have a look, because you've got no bloody legs on me. It, it goes down quite far. Yeah, storage. That's, that's such a good idea. Yeah. Right, let's go. Beautiful outside. van. Stunning. There you go, the music stopped. 
There's the price, and that's, I don't know if I've already showed you that. £328,070, deposit £248,000, and then you pay £955 a month. A grand a month. Show you around it quickly before the radio goes back on, or whatever they're playing. Oh, wow, look at this. One, two, three, four. size of the water tank. Look at the size of the garage. You could get in that. I could, see, I, I could live in that. Well, see if you stand up. Now the one I just uh, run, the, run the camera around, the Venture S, yeah. because there's music playing and we had to put music over the top of it because of obvious reasons, because of copyright. Yeah, they start at around, uh, I think you said 100,000, just yeah. under for your base model. They've actually sold out yeah. uh, of 2023, Yeah. but fully specced, it's like way, Yeah, but way, they say they've had loads of problems with them, don't they? Yeah, at the moment, they're sort of... Yeah, yeah. Um, so they're, you know... They've got to sort the problems out. You can't actually go in them because they're yeah. not safe to go in at the moment. Apparently. Because the roof keeps dropping down. Mm. So, yeah. Well, I'm sure uh, High will get on top of it and sort, sort it out. They'll sort it. They are, it is a brand new product. But yeah. yeah. So, let's have a look outside, people. Yeah, let's go and have Where a there's no radios. It's not just that as well. It's the cheaper vans outside. Well, I'm having a quick look around with my eyes here. Don't look very cheap to me. No, they don't. <laughs> Now let's go and have a look at this one. It's uh, £139,995. What is it, my little angel? I don't know. It's a. It's no good asking me to pronounce it. It's one of those again. It's a Niceman and Niceman and Bischoff Clow Lion. Something like that. Yeah. I can't, I can't pronounce it. I'm sure everybody's shouting at me, but yeah. It's one of them, isn't it? Doesn't look that much in the outside, to be honest. A class. What's that? I'm just looking, it isn't new, but there's no. It's not the same. It's definitely not new. It's not new? I don't know. It's got to be new for that much money, surely. Well, there's a lot of watermarks. And the oh, scratches on man, the. Man, these seats are so comfortable. The sink scratched, so no, I don't think it is new. No? Yeah. It's got air con. It's got no cooker. It's got to have a cooker somewhere. No, because it's it's got a hob. Okay. Toilet to wash room in there. I'm frightened to lift yeah, it. Yeah, don't break nothing. That's different. Oh, it's broken. That's different, isn't it? Bend it up. No, it's not that, I think. Does that come off? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, it comes off. Oh, yeah, okay. So you either have it as the... Yeah, it's all right. Not for that kind of money again. I don't know, because it's got the panelling. Nice cab auto box. What? Oh, it's got that panelling. Yes. Same as the other I do one. like this, to be honest. It's like tongue and groove, isn't it? Yeah, it's like tongue and groove. It's got like carpet. It's solid. I do like that. Very nice. See how clean that one is? What? See how clean that Omnister is? Yes, so. Immaculate. So? Well, how dirty is ours? Well, it's a job we're going to do, isn't it? Yeah, you can do that this weekend. Okay, I'll get it done. Let's get out of here. Happy with that. This is a nice panel van on a Mercedes cab, 4x4, Grand Canyon. This is Grand Canyon S. We can't get in it because the bloody doors are locked. It's not new. What? It isn't a new one again. What? Nope. Loving the wheels. Love the wheels. Got another one on the back. I love the back of it. Yeah. That is a nice van. That's a nice tidy Heimer, that is. Very nice. I love how the windows come out from the body. Yeah, it's very nice. It is a lovely van. I really like it. Can't believe the price of these vans, people. Unbelievable. 100 grand as good as. 
140 grand. These are all used vans as well. 100 grand. Oh, a bit cheaper. Mind you, that's probably 15 years old. That's 90 grand. That's the only problem. There's no information on the vans. No. Uh, you have to go and uh, literally talk to somebody. Yeah, I think that's why they do that. Even the number plates are covered, so we can't even see how old they are. Yeah. Uh, you've got a burster there. Do you want to have a look at the burster? I'd like to have a look at the burster. Let's go and have a look at the burster. We don't know how old it is, people. We've got no idea. It's the IXEO. IXEO. Let's have a look at my little fruit cake, my little pineapple, my little crab apple. Hey. It's got to be old, it looks a bit dated to me. Does it to you? I don't know, the seats, I don't think it's that old, because the the cupboards are still good and modern. Yeah, you've got a, a drop down bed. Burst that written on the seats, is it real leather? I think it is, it feels like real leather. Lynn's just sniffing the seats, bear with us. It's old. <laughs> Big fridge there, TV, little sink, three burners I think, is it? Yeah, be careful because there's a load of screws here so obviously oh, something's yeah. falling apart. Yeah, you can I shower there. What? This it is, is old, I mean look at the state of that. This is in day mode. That's in day mode? Yeah. Yeah. And I can't... That... Actually, you won't be able to get in that bed. Look how high it is. No, but if that's pulled out... I, don't know you... I mean, you can see it's in day mode from the, the slant it's up. Get into bed? What? No. Okay, how would you get your little legs up there? I don't know, but the mattress is stained, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's old. It doesn't matter about being old, it's just... Well... We'll have, a look, we'll have a look at the price in a minute, but to me it doesn't matter if it's old, if they're asking too much money, because that really bothers me. But they are asking too much money. How much is it? I don't know, It's uh, but it's the sign of the times at the moment because there's still a delay. There's, yeah. uh, we were just talking to one of the salesmen here and they're still struggling yeah. so much. If you, bought, if you order one today, you're not going to get it till mid to late next year. Yeah, yeah. So... Yeah, he's telling us a story about one bloke. He's put uh, a lot of money down as a deposit. Yeah, and Can't he, have it till next year. Well, he's, the day he picks it up, if it actually turns up on that date, he'll have waited 551 days. <laughs> that's that's unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. It is when they've got the deposit in their bank account and not your own bank account, because you've paid them a hefty, and it was a hefty deposit that he's paid. Yeah. And to be honest... I don't know. I really thought today we'd you bugger off. <laughs> just watch you don't fall backwards off that step. Yeah, uh so I might break the camera. It's so alright, I was just thinking about Valentine's Day for some strange reason. You know I've never had a card people. No, nor me. I've given up trying now. For thirty years I always bought him something, cooked him a dinner, bought him a lovely card. No, nothing. No, nothing at all. I've given up given up trying because I never get anything back. Unbelievable. Let's go and have a look at the price. Yeah, let's go and have a look at the price. There you go, that's what I meant. 90 grand. 90,000 pounds. And we can't... Can you get that off? No, it's a 60-something plate. 60-something plate. So it's over 10 years old. No, it could go up. It could be a 69. Yeah. That's a lot of money, isn't it, people? You've got to agree with me, it's a lot of money, isn't it? For a working class bloke, anyway. So, this is the Heimer T780 on a Mercedes cab. Uh, yeah, let's go and have a look. It's the outside of it. The dreaded price is 160 grand. Yeah, 160,000. You can't whack a Mercedes though. 
in my opinion, you can't whack a Mercedes. No, again, we don't know how old it is. Well, it should be brand new for that much, surely. Can't be very old for that much money, surely. Have you been there, look? Oh, do we got... We We've got one of those, but we never use it. Good seating area. Nice table. Cracky Mercedes cab, which you could expect off Mercedes. Yes, love it. It isn't new, um, but the cook has never been used. And you've got a pop-up TV. That goes down. Yeah. And, you remember the last vlog? No, it wasn't. Okay. Yeah, that, that just, goes. That just lowers down. That does. All as that had in the last one was like that. That's yeah. just to cover up that. Yeah, look, skylight there. Loads of cupboard space. Well, say loads. There's uh, three that side. One that side. Control panel. Full size cooker. You're doing it again. It's not a full size cooker. Your cooker in your house isn't a full size. It's one of them days, people. But it is, it hasn't been used. Whoever's had this van has not used it. No. Or the hob. No, that looks, yeah. What would you? It's probably like you, never cook. You're going to climb into bed. Two single beds. And you've got storage under there as well. Under that one. Cupboard space. No, I, I just. I know you've got a, a bigger garage, like, you know, because the bed's high, but I'd rather have a smaller garage and, you know, just fall into bed, if you know what I mean. That is exceptionally high, isn't it? Yeah. You could sit up, though. What? You could actually sit up. You're not going to sit Oh, yeah, you could. Head. Yeah, because on some vans I've been in, when the beds are high, you can't sit up, but you can in this one. And you've got a TV there. Yeah. Not much room in here. I'm struggling to turn around. Big shower. Massive shower. Well, my angel, do you like it? Not for me. Right. Come on, let's get out of here. So, again, this is a Niesman and Bischoff, Bischoff, uh, clay line. How old is it? Don't know. Again, because all the number plates are covered up, I can't see. It is a nice looking van from the outside. I do like it. Yeah, it's like a uh, streamline. Nice. Let me show you. 126 grand. Two points, it's a 2.3. Yeah, it's on a Fiat uh, cab. Let's go and Shall have, we a, look have a look. Yeah. Yes. Come here and give us a kiss. No, Unbelievable. Oi, give me First impressions, I like it. I re it's, it's so airy. The door's closed, so I don't know what's going on yet down there. Yeah, loads of cupboard space all the way around. Love. I mean, what a brilliant... I don't know uh -oh. how to open it. You're going to break it. No, oh, that opens that way. Oh. I'm not even going to risk it, but the sink's under there. But what yeah, surely a good... That, surely that just... There you go. That does, there you go. What a good idea. Is it though? Yes, because when it's closed... Oh, that? It's magnetic. I think so, yeah. yeah. So you've, what, only, what is good idea? you've only got the two burners, but once all, the, all that's packed away, you finish cooking and then you fold that down and you've got space. To do what? I don't know. I just like space. Massive cupboards. Oh, well. Oh, well, I thought, I thought it was. <laughs> you've got a, sort of a half of one, obviously, because yeah. the sink's there. But then you've got... And again? And again, yeah, that's oh. strange. Probably because your boiler or something's in that Yeah, one. so so your first impression, you think they were massive, but they're not. No, and then your, your final one, again, is, yeah. Yeah. Very deceptive. Yes. Uh, good seating area. Like, love the not seating Not too keen, keen on that, though. Well, I am. It doesn't really matter what you've got on the seats, because at the end of the day, 90% of us cover them up. I mean, yes. we do, for the dogs, so. Yes, uh, why is that? And even, Most people, you know, put throws on the uh, seats. Even if they haven't got dogs, but it's to keep them nice. Keep them clean. You're just keeping it nice for the next person, aren't you, really? Well, basically. Yeah. They are good lockers. Yeah. So, look at the cab while you go in the. Uh, yeah, just your standard Fiat cab. There's a skylight there. And there's also one there. Uh oh. 
Oh, and your TV points there. You've also got a little cupboard thing there to put your remotes in the things, maybe. Light switches, couple of drawers down there. What? Uh oh, here we go. No, it's just I haven't seen this before. What? You, uh, you have a look at the toilet. I'll, I'll back up here. Yes. <laughs> you go come and have a look at the toilet. You're you? asking me to come into the bedroom? No, I'm asking you to look at the toilet. You need bang straight off there then. Yeah. That's the first. Okay, let's have a look. Climb into bed, obviously. Go on, see what you think. Where's the toilet? Oh, the toilet's there. How'd, how'd you get in there? How'd you get in there? How's that work? So you must pull it out. Hang on, let's swap places. Right, answers on the comments. Because we're not going to touch it, but I presume that pulls out. We're not going to touch it because the van's not brand new, so... Surely, so that goes like there, and that, that pulls out. So you can use the toilet. First time I've ever, ever seen anything like that. Pretty good idea for uh, the space, space, space saving. And your toilet's not going to get soaked. Yeah, hang on, the door don't shut. Don't know, I haven't done it. And your toilet's not going to get soaked while you're having a shower because it's locked away in the cupboard. Yeah, but what if you get up in the middle of the night and you've got to try and get that out of there? Well, I'll give you a tip. Get before, you before you go, go to, to bed. bed. Yeah, we'll get it out. I know, yeah. but... You're not well, going to have a shower in the middle of the night, are you? I don't, can't see how it pulls out. <sighs> Can you? Well, quite easy. But I don't want to touch it because it's like we said, Robert said, it's it's not a new van and... Yeah. You, know. you don't know who's had a poo in there. <laughs> we did have to use hand sanitizer to come in, but... That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Because as you come in reception, you've got to give them all your details. I expect, I would presume, that's the case you decide to nick anything out of the vans? No, I don't think so. I've had to put the email address down and a mobile telephone number down, so that is so they can contact you. And they frisked us. No, they didn't. <laughs> they put, oh no, them two of me are quick. Lock the vans up. Yeah, but I think we're guaranteed we'll have an email later or tomorrow. So thank you for visiting. Is there anything we can do to, of interest to you or whatever? Yes. That's why they took yeah. it. They've got you now. I should have put somebody else's email address down, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> so the last one we're going to have a look around today is this monster. It's again a Niesman and Biscoff. Yes, it's one of those because we can't pronounce it. Clow Lion. Um, yeah, so look at this. It is huge. Well, that, that one looks newer to me. I'm on about, I like this one. Yeah, but I like that one. But this one's a tag. And so is that one? Well, we'll have a look in that one then. So it isn't the last one, it's the last book one. <laughs> yeah, there's the outside. Silver. Let's have a look at the front and how much it is. Oh no, how much? 216,000. And how old is it? I don't know. 216 grand. I've got to get out of here, I'm going to have a stroke. Good job it's got steps again because my little fruit cake would, wouldn't be able to get in. And I wouldn't get up my leg up there, would I? Yeah, tag axle. Now this is what you, I'm talking about. Okay, let's have a look. First impressions, great seating area. Uh, part leather seats. You sat nav and all that. Auto box. Massive blind there on the front. Well, there would be, wouldn't there? Uh, drop down bed. What's this? Skylight. <laughs> what's this? <laughs> what's this? I don't know. Oh, look at the telly. That's unusual. Oh, does it pull up and turn? I think it comes out. Of course it does. You you can't get a telly like that shape. Bloody hell, yeah. Robert. Yeah, because we've been watching the telly like that, haven't we? <laughs> like one of our first videos. <laughs> yeah. That would have been good for that video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of our first videos, we was upside down, inside out, and God knows yeah, what. that was me. I was just yeah, learning. Still yeah. am, though. I, would, I know, it's just something stupid, but I really like that. Right. Uh, hang on. Is that...? No, it's not, but it's pretend. Yes. It'd be too heavy if it was marble, wouldn't it? Yeah. What's that? Oh, coffee machine. you got your built-in coffee machine there. Very good, yes. Massive cupboards. Yeah. I do like this. 
you've only got a small fridge, but who cares? Love the oven. Yeah, that's good. Microwave. Well, if I stand on the step, it's a bit better. Still a bit too high, but... No, no. For a normal person, it's the right height. Look at that for a shower. Yes, that is a good size shower. And what I was just saying before you interrupted me... Hang on, grab the camera and see if I can get in there. No. <laughs> <laughs> you are a blonker, Rodney. Oh man. That's a good size shower. Good size shower. That's probably one of the best showers I've ever seen in a motorhome. For size. For size I've yeah. ever been in a motorhome. I love, love, love these illuminated panels. You've got one here. Yes. And you've got some in the bedroom, Robert. Have yeah. a camera. Okay. Hang on, I want to get on film a bit. Shut up, Robert. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Loads of mirror, which is lot. I love mirrors. Yeah, because you're a bit vain, aren't you? No. I mean, I'm, I'm just naturally handsome. I don't need to look in a mirror. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, look at the illuminated panels. I yes, know. the illuminated panels, which Celine's on about, which are very good. You've got storage under there, so you, you stand up here, you get up here, you get up here, you get up there, and then you just fall into bed. I'm going to try getting into bed, actually. Um, it's not So new. if you go back down there... Robert, down there. What do you mean, it's not new? It's not new. No, I'm not going to get into bed, am I? Oh, just let me take my clothes off. Take your down. So this is how you get into bed on one of these... Uh... High beds. Yeah. So you up there, like that. Up there. Up there, give me a little car, and then you get up the top there. Okay, and then can I sit? And I can sit up. I think it's good. Man, it's going to be bloody hard work if you want to get toilets in the night. Why you just come down the steps? And you've had a couple, oh, too many gin and tonics. I don't have too many gin and tonics. And there's mm. inside the bathroom with a heated towel rail. Just the toilet rather in there, because you've got the sink and everything as you come out. And your phone's ringing. Go on, have a look who it is. Oh, 0800. Oh, crap, man. Yeah, very nice van. How's that work? Oh, yeah, push, push it. And... I've already done that. Oh, have you? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's a very nice, spacious van. It is a lovely van. But I think all the A-classes feel spacious, don't they? Got a router in here. Yeah. Come on. Scrap yeah, me. really like it. Really. What's the matter? I don't know what that is. Yes, that's what I'm just. I was just going to. Every say. time you open the door on these, shut it. Oh, it's pulling the door. I don't know, but you couldn't sneak out in the middle of the night, could you, and shut the door? Why would you want to do that? I don't know. We all go out in the. I mean, look how many times you go in and out, in and out. That noise. Anyway, this is the other one. And this yeah, this is, is the one part next door, yeah. This is 169,995. So it's cheaper? Yeah. I can't see the red. Don't know the red. Don't know. Yeah, 170 grand. How much is that one? 200. 216? Yeah. And to me, they look the same vans. It's the age again there, isn't it? And if you don't know the mileage. Yeah, but they look exactly the same to me. Well, let's have a look inside. Let's have a look inside. Good saving here, people. Well, we think it is. Oh, get off. There you go. Same van. Man, look at the size of that. Look at the size of that drawer. Now that is what you call a drawer. Actually, if I took this out here, you could go to sleep in there. And then I'll just shut you away like that. It's the same van. If you lost a bit of weight off your butt. It's the same van. It's Coffee the same maker, van. yeah. That's different different because here it was block it, there was shelving and there was a Wi-Fi unit up there, wasn't there? So yeah. it's same is, drop down bed. Same funny television that's on the wrong way. Yeah, but the bed's different. Because you don't walk up the side of it, you just walk up here. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. And then that's it to me. To me, that's an easier way of getting to bed in these yeah, uh, high and beds. Then I could turn the middle one on that way. 
Shut up, Liv. What are you saying? You want single bed? Oh, yeah. I'll leave all here. Yeah, that, that to me is an easier way to get into bed. You're straight in, easy. Your TV there. And you've got so the basically, it's the same van, but. Yeah. Oh, man, look at the space you got now to get ready. Massive shower again there. There's me. Right. Yeah. I prefer this one. Do you? Yeah. Because it's more spacious. Size of the drawers. God, I'd kill for just one of these. Yeah. Oh, I've got you. I'm not going to do it. Uh, you got a fridge there, obviously, in the freezer. What, what's this? Oh, that's your grill. Oh, dear, that's odd. That's your freezer. I do like this. It's nice, isn't it? I do really, really. wonder how old it is. Don't know. I do really, really, really like this. <laughs> I'm not going to convince you to get an A-class, am I? I do like A-classes, but I like expensive ones. <laughs> What's this? I no, I mean the... Because on the, some of the A-classes, the, the front looks really modern, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that is on the new ones. On the new, yeah, on the brand brand new ones. But never be able to afford one of them, so I don't know why we've been talking about it. I mean, this is a hundred and what, hundred and seventy. I mean, we're talking about it like it's hundred and seventy pence. A hundred and seventy thousand pounds. Come on, let's get out of here. That's what I mean about the modern look. I think that's a stunning looking van. So sadly, people. Yet we, again, we've it's come. It's still the tag on top of our list, yes. which we'll probably end up purchasing at some point. Well, we're going to go and try and have a look at one next week. Yes. Still wonderful looking round. I love to see what's yeah. on offer. We, we love looking in most rooms, and I'm sure, I'm, we're sure a lot of you do as well. So it's been a good day, out, hasn't it? It has. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll leave it there for now. And yet yeah, we're away this weekend, so yes. we'll uh, we'll let mm. you know where we are on the next one. Yeah, you can come and have a point with us. Just a promise. <laughs> yeah, so thanks for watching, people. So stay safe at the caravan as motor homes tend to drift the sky. Old you, we still love you. We do. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next one in a bit. Mm.